So this is Matt from Games Radar and Total Film. Thanks very much for your time today, guys. Really appreciate it. And Dev, to start with you in the most obvious place, but Monkey Man, it feels like a film that would be tough for like an actor or a director. So what made you want to kind of go so fully in on this as your sort of first? I, I'm a huge fan of the genre, like as a consumer. And, and I guess I was just kind of de desperate for some sort of like different representation to begin with. You know, 10 years ago when I started writing this, the only kind of roles I'd be offered in a film like this would be the funny sidekick or the guy that hacks the mainframe or something, you know what I mean? So to 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 be able to fill the screen with my culture, my history, my ancestry, and and you know, also I'm I'm kind of a product of two worlds. I grew up born and raised here in the UK, so I just wanted to create a film that is kind of representative of like what I want the future of the genre to look like. And you've obviously both kind of in a sense moved from acting into directing like what why do you think so many actors do end up making that transition you know actors get a real front seat to directing um you know with you know in the case of dev and, and monkey man it, it's quite clear that you know this is somebody though it's his first film it doesn't feel like his first film and part of the reason is he's been working with some of the best directors in, on the planet and knows that process that you know one has to have with an, an actor and one that, and their crew. So it's 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 hard to get reps <laughs> like that. <laughs> but then it also you know you can't just be an actor. You've got to be a certain actor that's watching from the very beginning every single part of the process the entire way. And so that's clearly what he's done. And did anything surprise you, Dev, about when you actually kind of, you know, got into the director's seat, anything that was different about it to how you anticipated? No, I, I think, you know, it, every day we would face kind of catastrophe on this set. Hmm. You know, it was kind of like one of those productions where I was like, you know, what could possibly go wrong now? And then like an, another 12 things that were just, you know, career ending would happen and you're like how do you you know so it was having a crazy crazy precise plan that you're willing to throw out the window on a dime every day and pivot and I think coming from acting you know that that instinctual part of myself was what I relied on the most yeah being able to pivot and change and yeah. and don't you find that the the pivots often will like bring about your best your, your favorite choices always yeah yeah I think you know I think obstacles actually provide the best opportunities mm -hmm. Yeah. And Jordan, were there any sort of lessons you learned on Get Out, your directorial debut, that you kind of imparted to Dev at all along the way? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, first of all, when, when Dev first showed me the film, I think he, he felt like um, he, he was, uh, he was like, he was like, help. <laughs> and, um, I, you know, first I wanted to just reassure him, like, look, you are at the essentially the same place that I've been at this point with all my films, which I think may, may have been a nice a leveling thing. But, you know, then in the, the post process, you know, I just really wanted to Im impress on Dev that, you know, as far as Monkey Paw Productions was concerned, we really w needed to get the film that he wanted to make and that he could really, we would give him the, the tools, we would give him all of the advice we have and that it was his 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 job that we would honor to figure out what was the right advice to take. And he did that every step of the way. And can you talk a bit, Dev, about your influences on this film? Because I know a lot of Korean films kind of inspired you, is that right? Yeah, it's interesting because I'm a huge fan of like, you know, everyone, the main comparison right now is John Wick and I'm a huge fan of Chad as an individual, as as a filmmaker and the franchise. But you know the the OG guys that wore this, the br the brooding men wearing the the suits and doing that amazing action were the Korean you know uh, auteurs and everything from Old Boy to Man from Nowhere to A Bittersweet Life to I Saw the Devil like you know th these these Korean films not only do they have the most like violent you know like gory moments in action that you've seen but they also they have a lot of emotion and pathos. Mm. To them you know they're, they're not afraid to double triple down on these kind of emotional beats and lingering looks of of, of love or longing or whatever and 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 for me i, re I really like that you know there, there, there's 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 deep social context in in these films and yeah i wanted to try and try and do that in my way anyway and 
Kind of, this was originally set to be a streaming film, wasn't it? Before was that before you got involved, Jordan? Well, I don't know. Where, it may have been sort of uh, dead in the water, and it's in a certain way. But um, yeah. we, you know, Dev came to us with the film and said, you know, it wasn't a streaming film. It's kind of like a dead, stagnant pond. <laughs> a stagnant pond. Yeah. Uh, he, he came and 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 showed it to us, and you know, we instantly, you know, saw exactly what he was doing i mean it was it was very clear and it was very clear that he had been on a very long and difficult uh journey with the film um and i i just i think maybe he just didn't realize how unbelievably awesome it was and uh and yeah and then just when when we got into the edit together uh you know he i think made some really uh um, some decisions that really um uh, spoke and, and emphasized this idea that we it's going to be a theatrical, you know, this, you know, p pieces of music that the whole audience's head is going to be bobbing, you know, and this kind of thing. The work he did with the, the, the sound, you know, to make a, a dynamic soundscape is very theatrically forward and, and, and stuff like this. And, that, and as a producer, can you still have a lot of influence once you've reached that post-production phase kind of you know is there a lot of kind of you can do with the raw material oh yeah there? well i mean look it's uh yeah i mean every everybody has in the process has influence and you know uh on on the, the pro on the project um and it's dev's sort of responsibility to choose what to take from who and so when i'm as a producer when i'm talking to dev i i, I like to talk to dev as giving my my advice but more you know, not as a producer, just as a human being, you know, telling him how my experience of watching what he puts forward is, just as an audience member. And that's all I can, I can ultimately expect is that he hears me as an audience member more than anything else. And Dev, how did you actually find it directing yourself as well? Like, how, how much of a challenge is that? It's, um, it's really difficult, I think, you know, but you, you, you kind of, um, I think for me, I'm not the most technical actor, so like, it has to sit inside me, the character. And once it's like, once I find it, it I, I can exist in that, you know. So the difficulty is like clicking in and out, and 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 you know, I had never really embodied a performance with so much um, rage, I guess, like someone that had, and and to to kind of like show that in such a, I, my hats off to these like kind of amazing action actors because it's it's difficult you're really you, you can't play it safe in in that genre like you either look strange doing it or or, you, or it works because you have to fully commit 110 percent you know to those moves the way you move the looks you got to throw and it's like it's kind of can feel like the most hammy thing in the world but you you have to go in with absolute conviction and for me you know it had to feel real to an extent where like my body really took the toll of it, you know, like it's not doing an emotional scene where you're like, God, if I can bring tears to my eyes and, you know, have snot falling out of my right nostril, I've got it. This is like, what am I going to do to my body to try and make this work? And I did, you know, have have a few hairy moments there. And are you then just kind of like snapping straight out of that rage and running over to the monitors to kind of look at? That? Yeah, yeah. And I tried not to look at the monitors because that's a big time waste, you know, so you, 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 you really rely on 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 your team, and we would you'd spend a lot of time rehearsing, rehearsing, getting the camera moves right. Then I'd step in and would go, and you know, I, if I knew I was working, if my if I could feel it in my in my body in my cells, I would we would call cut. I'd look over to you know, the producers, the DP, and everyone's like, yeah, we we all know there's there's a synergy there, you know. And Jordan, have you ever been tempted to direct yourself in any of your films? Um, you know, I get, no, I'm, uh, I, I, I haven't, I, uh, no, I, you know, I, I guess if I was dev, <laughs> I would, no, no, I, I, I think, uh, that I'm, I'm, I think one of the great choices, uh, with Monkey Man is, uh, the casting, um, all around, but, um, you know, in an actor, dev is somebody I've always wanted to work with. Um, much more than my 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 own damn self, <laughs> um, and uh, you know he has one of these qualities that really is an, a, a kind of classic iconic quality that very few have, where I think the audience uh, relates to him, 
whether it's in a familial way or a romantic way, or I want to be that guy, or I am that guy. You know, he takes us along for the ride um, just because he's of, of the, the presence of his, of his soul and, 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 his, uh, and his loveliness. Yes, right. And his loveliness.